this slide, this case, is called brain cerebellum abscess. What you can already see from the uh, low power of the slide is that there is a purplish and fairly well-defined area in the middle of the field that seems to be uh, denser and bluer and fairly well separated from the surrounding lighter pinker tissue which is brain tissue. Also note that when we show these slides if you see linear cracks or slight uh, wrinklings of the tissue these are all uh, artifacts of processing and probably these uh, lightning like uh, cracks uh, separation of the tissue are artifacts as well. Let's blow this up a little bit and once again you could get a fairly good view of the fairly good delineation between this bluer area and the uh, pinker area. Well the reason why the bluer area is blue is because it is just loaded with neutrophils and if you look at these cells closely once again you'll see they're nothing but uh, neutrophils and fibrin and if you look very close even though at first quick glance they look like they may have a circular round nucleus the closer you look the closer you can see these are all lobular cells or polymorphonuclear leukocytes here we are near the transition zone between the uh, neutrophils and the surrounding tissue and you can see even though it is fairly well delineated the surrounding tissue is fairly rich in blood vessels and it also has an increase in inflammatory cells you can see lymphocytes which are chiefly here you can see fibroblasts you can see blood vessels which are here and here and here and then the further away you get from this area the more the tissue uh, once again closely resembles uh, um, more normal brain tissue. The reason why the uh, abscess seems to be lighter in the center and darker towards the edge is because this is the older area of the abscess. As the abscess uh, has grown, the uh, central portions have become more liquefied because they have been longer exposed to the uh, digestive effects of the uh, granules within the neutrophils. And also notice again that even though the abscess is fairly well delineated, there seems to be somewhat of a transition zone between the relatively normal brain here and the abscess here by showing a uh, uh, ingrowth of blood vessels uh, and uh, edematous tissue, which I think could probably be characterized as granulation tissue. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say about this slide, so uh, thank you very much.